Hi, I'm Colm Dunphy, a lecturer from WIT. I'm going to talk to you about Slack and how you use it in education. Background is we had industry partners suggesting we use Slack with our students. So we did for final year projects, then for modules with small numbers, and then for an entire online program. This is what we learned. What is Slack? It's the leading messaging and communication application for Teams. All communications are in one place, so you need no more emails. It's fully searchable, including within documents, integrates with existing tools like Google and Dropbox, and it fosters collaboration. It's a web application, so it runs in your browser. These five are supported, but you'll want to install a client uh, for a shared desktop, so you can share your screen, and also on mobile, so you can take those notifications and calls while you're on the move. Slack's main things to remember include workspaces, channels, direct messages, you type into a text box to communicate, and you click to upload files and content. You can also drag and drop files in here. To get started in Slack, you're gonna to want to create a workspace for your class or program using a unique URL and clicking a button. Get the usual stuff for setup, including confirmation code, name, password, team, and URL. So you can then email invitations directly to team members, or you can copy an invite link. You should manage your invitations at the first class or at induction. Workspaces strategies include one per module or one per program. Channels. You create a new channel by clicking the plus. Channels for modules, topics, projects, or groups. They can be public, shown with a hash symbol, or also private with a lock. And only people who are invited to the private channel can read and write on that channel. If you hover over post, you can start a thread. These are useful for asking questions with answers and replies to a thread, as you can see here. They're also useful for peer review and peer learning, where students post up their work and receive comments from their peers. Direct messages are used for private conversations, including one-on-one -on -one support, reassurance with exercises, pastoral care, and student-to-student -student help. You select the person you want to talk to and chat slash text away. You can convert that to a call by pressing on the handset button for voice or video calls. Voice by default, so the mic is on by default. Uh, you can then switch on the video webcam or share your screen uh, using the desktop client. You can get full control here, or you can enable others to draw on your screen. Press the red button to stop sharing, returns you to the call. You can also publish or post your files, clicking the add button, or just drag and drop into the text area. Files are recognized and automatically previewed, including web links, as you can see here. Add-ins allow us to extend the functionality of Slack and integrate it with other applications. Simple poll is a really uh, popular one, and you can see how easy it is to create a poll. Others include attendance, marker, and assignment, and there's a whole host of the common applications that you can integrate. We can replicate social media and community interactions using things like the water cooler, the public channel, interviews for face-to-face -face communications, and social media reactions uh, on all content and comments that are posted. Notifications uh, facilitate timely and instant feedback. And they have badges, sound alerts, and desktop pop-ups. If it gets too many, remember slash away. Program also supports analytics, which can be exported to CSV files. You can be filtered by time. You've got numeric data and it's graphed visually as well. Alternatives to Slack include Discord. Students are familiar with this from online gaming and Rocket Chat, which is open source, but doesn't have the shared desktop facility. Limitations to the free version. There's 10,000 message limit and there's no desktop sharing. Threads don't support attachments. It's got proprietary markdown and you must join a workspace before you can join a private channel. Lessons learned. Slack promotes active learning with the lecturer as the facilitator. We can use roles in display names for staff and we can ask Slack pot channels for help. Everything you've seen on the previous slides and don't forget slash away. So can Slack be used to augment or replace existing teletech? In my opinion, yes. Uh, during the snow, we completely replaced Adobe Connect with just Slack. And for smaller groups, we've uh, replaced VLE, Moodle, 
uh, with Slack. <laughs>